Hi there, welcome to the Animals Naturally podcast with me, Suzanne. The aim of this podcast is to give you ideas on how to care for your animal more naturally. Whether you have a horse, dog, cat, other pet or other animal, there's a whole world of complementary therapies and holistic approaches that you can use to help your animal to have a more naturally healthy lifestyle. I'm founder of Taranet, a leading international natural animal health care resource and business coaching for pet care professionals at taranet.co.uk. In this episode of the podcast, I'm going to give you an overview of the marshmallow plant. A marshmallow may be something you think about being in confectionery that we as humans can enjoy as a sweet treat. But actually, marshmallow is a plant that has many medicinal purposes and is often used both for human and animal health reasons. So what is marshmallow? Well, it's quite a pretty plant. It's white or pinkish flowers with soft leaves, making it look very pretty. But it's long been used for medicinal reasons as well as for culinary purposes. The roots and the leaves of the plant can be used. So why would you use marshmallow for your animal's health? Well, marshmallow root is often used as a supplement to soothe and protect inflamed mucous membranes. And there's actually been some scientific research looking at the benefits that do show that, yes, it really does help make a difference. I'll put the link to that research in the show notes. Marshmallow root is also often used in skin care lotions to help relieve sore skin. The leaves of the marshmallow plant are often used too for relieving respiratory ailments. So, for example, to loosen catarrh to soothe the skin, and for gastrointestinal ailments like diarrhoea. The active constituent in both the root and the leaves of the marshmallow plant are acidic polysaccharides. So what animals can benefit from marshmallow? Well, horses, ponies and donkeys all can, as well as dogs, cats and other small animals such as rabbits. You you will find marshmallow root or leaves in many tinctures, powders, as an individual component or combined already in supplements and skincare preparations with other herbs. There are many um, herbal medicine for animals manufacturers out there, such as Hilton Herbs and Dorwest West Herbs. And they, you will often find that marshmallow, if you look at the ingredients, it's already contained within the product. But you may find that under veterinary supervision, they suggest you either use one of these products or buy neat, sort of straight marshmallow to make your own tincture or powder. It's essential, as with any herbal product, you do speak to your veterinary surgeon first to see whether they think it will be beneficial for your animal. They may recommend you using it in conjunction with other products, which is the benefit of holistic approach, not just using one particular method, combining products and and approaches to get the best possible benefit for your animal's health and well-being. If you'd like any advice on finding a holistic veterinary surgeon or complementary therapist for your animal, then do please email me at info at as I can help assist you if I can. There are many veterinary surgeons and who specialise in herbal and other complementary medicine and your own veterinary surgeon, even if they haven't specialised, may well be aware of the benefits of marshmallow and be prepared to suggest it as a useful alternative to um, what I would call conventional medicine. So do do speak to your veterinary surgeon. They You be, might be surprised that they actually do think it's a great idea, particularly as marshmallow has been used for centuries in helping with animal and human health. So to recap, marshmallow is useful as a plant um, to help both the skin care, the spiritual ailments and gastrointestinal ailments. And it has a soothing um, effect. So a whole range of different animals can find it of benefit. So I hope that has been useful. And you now look at marshmallow in a different way and not just as something you can enjoy as something sweet to eat. It really can be beneficial. Um, if you've got any questions on complementary therapies, then do please email me at info at where you'll also find at my website a whole range of complementary therapies for animals information. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>